With Revit, you have the ability to fine-tune the graphics of each individual view of the project. Um, this gives you the ability to change out line weights, add color, and hide and show different elements like tags. Um, this makes it really convenient uh, for making things like code review plans and presentation drawings. So to start out, to, to give an example of how it works, um, if we make a presentation drawing, what you first want to do is make a duplicate copy of the floor plan. So I'm going to click on the level one floor plan, right click, duplicate view, and then I'm going to choose duplicate with detailing because I want to keep um, some of the tags in there. Um, by clicking on that, it's actually created a new view, um, which is just a copy of the floor plan. So I'll minimize that, bring it up. Um, it's a good idea to give it a name just to, uh, to keep it organized. For example, presentation drawing. Once it's got a name, you can add a color scheme to it uh, to do that. Uh, Revit makes it really easy. It actually has a color scheme tool that automatically fills in rooms. Go to the tool tray, click under Rooms and Areas. If you don't see Rooms and Area tab or any of these uh, tool tabs here, uh, you can bring them up by right-clicking in the tool tray and checking on um, that tab to bring it up. Uh, in the Room and Area tab, uh, there is a color scheme tool. If I click on that and bring it in and click and then I'll click again. Um, it actually automatically assigns a color to each room and puts in a legend. Um, I can drag the legend anywhere I need it. Um, and if I start changing out the names of these rooms, it will automatically update the color and the legend. In order to use the color scheme tool, you have to first create rooms um, in the drawing um, so that it can associate those rooms with the color scheme. Now that I've got the color scheme set up, um, I can start removing the things I don't want to see. Um, to do that, you go to the Visibility and Graphics uh, tool. And to open that window up, go to View, and then down to Visibility and Graphics. Uh, this opens up a window with different categories that you can now start removing. Um, in Model Categories, um, you can take out each individual element. If you tab over to the Annotation Categories, you can check box um, at the top, and it removes them all. I can hit apply and it's removed them all. And I'll go back if I want to keep some of them. I can click at the top, scroll down while hitting shift, click on the bottom, and then I can check the box. Uh, now that'll, re that'll check all the boxes. I can come back in and bring back room tags and uh, color fill legend and click apply and OK. And finally, um, if I want to change the line weight or how these walls read, um, you also do that in visibility and graphics. I'm going to bring visibility graphics back up. This time with a shortcut, it's the letters VG. And this time in the model categories tab, I'm going to scroll down to the walls. If you come over the, the columns to its cut pattern, I'm going to click in the field click to override and I can choose a pattern for example solid black I could also change its color click o OK apply and OK and it's changed all the walls to a solid black 